First thing you want to do is remove the tip collector, just slide it forward and remove it. And then you're going to remove the five 2.5 millimeter Allen screws, one, two, three, four, five, and then you can remove the cover. Okay, we're going to resume. The top housing has been removed. Uh, the next step, you'll need to turn the tool over, and there is a screw on the bottom, on the back side housing. So what I'm going to do is with my 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench, is just remove this screw. And then I can actually take the, remove the cuts of the housing from the the lower jaw, the right hand housing. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is use a 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench to remove the PC board. So again, I'm just going to take and remove the two PC board screws. So I have loosened them up and then I can remove them. And just so you know, there is a there is a ground wire that goes underneath the front screw post here. Okay. So I have that. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is remove this 2.5 millimeter screw here. Move it a little bit closer towards you, Norm. The tool, just a little bit. Perfect, thank you. So I got that screw removed. And by the way, there is a spacer underneath here. So I can slide this out. And then what I'm going to do is flip the tool over and there is a 5.5 millimeter open end or uh, nut on here. So I got an 5.5 millimeter open end wrench and I can just loosen this. And there is a screw on this side so you may have to put, the, uh, put a medium blade or a small bladed screwdriver in the slot here, which I believe I need to. So what I need to do So I have a small bladed screwdriver in the slot on the one side of the screw head, and then I'm just using this open end wrench to take off the five and a half millimeter nut and washer that are underneath there. So I've removed them, and now I have that off. And the next thing I'm going to do is grab a 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench, and I'm going to remove this screw right here. So I have that removed. Okay. Next, I'm going to remove the pin for the bevel spur here. I'm going to take and just push this pin up here. And once I have it up so far, I can remove this. <laughs> go ahead and just go ahead and push this screw out here. So now both of your screws are removed. And then what you want to do is just grab this piece right here, the back of the tool, and just kind of wiggle it back and, and take this back piece off here. And again, you've got to watch this spring sits over this nub on the rear jaw handle. Let me see it. Hang on. Let me zoom in. Right there. Okay. The spring goes there. Okay. So then I can just set this down, and then I can remove the bevel spur gear. And there's also a thrust washer that it goes on the top of it. So I'm just going to take and set that there, but that's what we're going to. So what we're going to be replacing is the bevel spur gear, which is right here, the thrust washer, the pin for the bevel spur gear, the 
nut and the, and the M3 lock washer. These are the five parts we're going to be replacing. So again, the next thing I'm going to do after I have my um, gear on here is take my bevel spur gear, slide it there with my thrust washer, and set that right on the top. And then what I need to do is grab the back of the tool. I'm holding the motor here. And what I want to do is the spring. I need to, the spring that is sitting right here. I need to get that aligned right with where this little nub is at on the rear jaw handle. So what I want to do is just set this on like so. Pull it down. And what I'm doing is interlocking where the motor fits right here, the motor, uh, the, the uh, motor mount. And then just snap it together like so. And then the next thing I'm going to do is grab a couple of screws here, my M3 bolts, and go through the holes. Two run, run there, and one here. Okay, so I've slid them in position. And then what I want to do is grab these two M3 nuts here. And what I'm going to do is just put them, set it on the back here, and then I'm going to tighten this screw up here. And again, I'm just lightly tightening these initially. Same thing with my other nut is I'm going to take and set it on top of this screw here. Push it down a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to flip the tool over and tighten this screw also. So again, just for the time being, just lightly tighten them until I get everything together. So that's in position. So the next thing I'm going to do now is take my this plate right here with the gear on it and I'm going to set it in position like so and what I need to do is get the gears to mesh so I just slid it down and now I have all my gears meshing so what I need to do now is once I have that in plate, place there is a spacer that goes underneath where this front screw goes. Okay, can we see that? Can you rotate a little bit Norm? Okay, sure. Perfect. Okay. okay. So I'm going to slide this underneath the plate. Okay. And then I'm going to take this screw and put it in here like so. Again, I'm just kind of initially just finger finger tighten the screws here. Okay, just lightly tightened. So the next thing I'm going to do is my bevel spur gear is under here. It's just kind of, I, I got my 2.5 millimeter Allen, but just going to make sure I'm somewhat lined up and that I can actually mesh my gears. And then I'm going to take the pin for the bevel spur gear and just go ahead and set it in here, line it up, and just go ahead and kind of push it down. And I can actually just kind of tap it. Once you got the pin for the bevel spur gear in so far, if you start just rotating the gears, it'll kind of find its position and seat real nice. Okay. And the next thing I want to do is flip this over. And there is a M3 washer and an M3 nut that are going to go on that right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and again finger tighten that. Okay. So I have that in position. Then what I'm going to do is grab my 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench and this little screw right here, and I'm going to put it right here. So that screw is going to go in this hole. Okay. So that's seated. Okay. So now then, now that I have every, the interns of the tool, Make sure my gear train spins nice and free. And then what I'm going to do now is finish tightening up my screws. So again, what I want to do here is you want to make sure that this screw here is tightened down, snug. And then these two screws right here, the two M3 bolts, I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that they're tightened down.
So you just want to make sure they're good and snug. Okay. And then the last thing is you want to tighten this nut up with a, I have a 5.5 millimeter open end wrench. It's a five and a half millimeter nut. So you can start tightening it. And then what you need to do is grab your screwdriver here and you want to try to grab your small bladed screwdriver and put it in this hole right here in the slot right here on this screw head. And then you want to come back to the five and a half millimeter nut and just finish tightening it. So I have a screwdriver in the slot of that screw head and then what you want to do is just tighten this. So now I have it good and tight. Ready. The next, the next thing we're going to do is put the board screws on, these small screws here. So what I'm going to do is the front board screw, there is a ground terminal underneath here. So what I'm trying to do is, if you can see that ground terminal, I normally just try to put it on like so, and then I'm going to drop my board and tighten that up. Okay. So I have the ground terminal in position. Grab my 1.5 millimeter Allen and just go ahead and tighten it down. And then grab my other screw here and tighten it down as well. Okay. So now my board is secured. Okay. So now the in terms of the tool are all pretty all back together like they should be. The last thing we're going to do is put the tool in back in the housings. So what I'm going to do is just grab the tool. And the main two things, you want to make sure that on the back of the tool, there's a slot in the back of the housing and there's a rib on this, on this connector. Just make sure that that is seated there properly. And then I just set the interns in. And the last thing I want to do is my membrane switch. Again, there is a slot in the bottom housing, so I'm just going to push that membrane switch. So, go. Okay. And the last thing we're going to do is set the top housing on, and then set the top housing. And again, the main thing is you need to make sure you get your membrane switch in that slot. I have the housings put together pretty nice here. And the other thing is your rear jaw handle will always re move real smoothly when it's when that's in position. So. So what I'm going to do is start putting my screws in. So here's our, um, there's five screws that I'm going to put on this side and one on the back side. But again, just to start, I'm going to put this goes a small screw, a long screw. There's going to be a small screw here that I'm going to wait on. I'm going to put a long screw in the back. And then there's also a short screw here. So I have those in. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, since I set the screws in there, just go ahead and tighten them up. So just go ahead and finger tight. Just go ahead and snug your screws down so I have those two. This one here. And the last screw, before you put this screw in right here, there's a counterbalance holder, so you can slide it in the slot right in the tool here, and you can just line up the hole, and then you're going to just go ahead and put that screw right in there. So again, that's snug. And again, you don't want to over-tighten these screws because there's brass inserts in the bottom side, so again, just making sure that they're good and snug. You don't need to over-tighten them. And then the tool's back together. Your rear. And then, like I say, I'm going to flip the tool over. There's, goes, there's one screw that goes on the bottom side, one 2.5 millimeter Allen screw. So we're going to go ahead and put that in. So it's good and snug. And then again, my rear jaw handle moves nice and smooth. And then I'm going to slap, put my tip collector back on.